This week we were off, off to the Maymac Mine, also called the Skomac Mine. Uh, it's not far from Greenwood, uh, about three miles to the, to the west of Greenwood. Uh, there's a whole bunch of mines in the area there. We flew over with the plane and found a whole pile of autos. So uh, just really fascinating. There's really interesting rock formations in this. Uh, many, many levels to this mine. Take a long time to go through it. Uh, there's ladders going down real steep areas. They're all rotted. So uh, we brought our ropes down there and we have uh, a Petzl descender and ascenders and stuff for these uh, ropes. That will show you how that works. It worked really nice on them rotten ladders. And uh, there's all kinds of rats in there. I'm up and close personal with rats. There's uh, bats, rats, uh, ladders, rotten ladders. Fascinating geological formations. All kinds of cool colors in there. Um, one of the host rocks here is called Argolite. It's, uh, you don't see it very much here. It's jet black rock. And it has just really cool bands of quartz and mineralization. Um, and stuff in it. So uh, argillite was actually used for carving at one time. The Haidas used it. So really interesting rocks, um, cool, lots of animals, like say, uh, interesting places to go. And uh, this mine started back in the 18, late 1800s and uh, it kind of operated on and off until about the early 80s. There's been nothing happening since then. So and there's a big uh, ball crushing mill. There's a mill there. It's abandoned there. I'll show you how the, how they, how the mill worked. So uh, lots of really interesting stuff. We're going to have to break it in maybe two or three different segments have got so much stuff uh, in there so um, I have a, a buddy of mine that's come along with me Mike and uh, the dog will be along so join us for, uh, for, for the adventure Hey everyone, we're at the Mini Mac Mine today and uh, we're scoping out a couple more addits. There's, uh, according to Minfile, there's seven addits here, so, and we were, able, we were able to locate most of them using the plane. Difficult to see them on the ground, but uh, yeah, they're here. So uh, there's the kind of intermediate level, and that's the only level that actually has a, a, a blocked access there. It's got a, a, a door, a steel door, and a lock on it. The bottom one's not locked. So this is the very top of the mine here on your left there, and then if you kind of look on your right there, that's where the mill is, and that's kind of the bottom of the mine. A whole bunch of other addits kind of below that, all scattered through that whole area there. There's the Highway 3 there, we're going from Greenwood, and there again we're coming the other way, and we're heading west here from here. There's the bottom of the mine, there's the other addits, the mid, and there's the very top of the mine there. Goes by pretty quick doing 100 miles an hour here, so you can see it's pretty noticeable from the plane. You can see those big uh, waste rock piles. There's the mill at the bottom, the camp and stuff uh, on your left there and then more to the right there. Kind of going over the same uh, area, the access road going into it. So uh, give you a bit of an overview of the mine there. And there's one last little shot there just coming over the very top of the mine where the interesting stuff is. I think these ladders are okay, but I'm never going to trust them. Okay, so, well, that's actually pretty good the way you got it there because it's not rubbing on anything. Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. But these, uh, looks kind of tangled a little bit. An easy way of doing the belay. <laughs> Yeah, look how shiny that is, eh? That's just awesome. Look how shiny that. 
looks like gold, eh? Almost certain to be pyrites, although I'm not sure that we've taken out a bit of that. Pretty shiny though. Looks awesome. Oh, beautiful bands of mineralization there. Huh. Lots of wind moving around here too. All kinds of branches here in this. So obviously there's lower levels to this mine because... Oh, well, this is about one of the driest mines that we've come across. Cool. I don't really know where we were last, but you know, probably chances are we can just kind of make our way down. And uh, obviously the ore went out here somewhere, and I know there's other levels to this mine. As long as we don't get into an area that's too steep to travel down safely, but uh, we'll just kind of slowly make our way along here and see how it goes. Oh, there's a flooded area there. We can make it down there, but I think we can just continue on this way and maybe find an area that wouldn't be as what is steep. Uh oh. I hope that dog didn't fall down. Heard kind of a bit of a thump there. Oh yeah, down he went to right? I guess he was in a big rush to get a drink of water or something. I guess we don't have much choice. We gotta go down now because he ain't coming back up. I don't think. Yeah, you should wait for a light there, buddy. There's another chute going straight down. And that's kind of the main entrance there from the bottom. So, uh, it's going to be a little tricky for me to continue on up here. It's uh, just kind of a nasty little corner here. Not real terrible, but there's a parallel manway right beside it with a ladder. So um, I think we're just going to have to leave my buddy here because he can't make it up here anyhow. So, But he's right close to the exit of the mine, so he'll be fine. He'll just wait for me. Right, buddy. And we're gonna head down here. Might need a little help there, but yeah, he can make it. I can carry him, don't matter. And I'll go ahead if you want. So we got a little storage box here. Look at storing very much except for a rat. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't come here to look at rats. What else we got? <laughs> Hardly ever a mine that ever been into that didn't have rats. Oh, look at that, eh? Well, oh, that's some real interesting black looking rock. A oh, black, that is. Really dark looking rock. I don't know if it's heavy or... Let's see. Is that heavy? No, it's not really heavy, so it's not lead. It's seen much heavier rock than that. Boy, this doesn't look uh, I know that golden dot minerals are supposed to be doing much work in here, so it may have been in here pretty recently. They're apparently waiting for a blasting permit so they can come in here and do some more test drills. Some of the stuff we might find in here might not be very old at all. Obviously, some of the artifacts that we've seen on the side are very old. Kind of a real different looking rock, eh? Look at that. Ah, there's a... I'm saying that's got to be a quartz, maybe. Huh? We don't have a knife or nothing, so I can't really peel anything off. It's a real good look at it. Oh, pretty interesting to see the you can see the slope that this is at this angle. Mm. 
I'm going to see some sulfides in here. This air, the air um, pipe, the compressor the pipe on the line, I guess. The compressor line looks ser serviceable, so it may have been used fairly recently. It'll be interesting to see. I've never been in a mine where they've done any work in the last 30 or 40 years, so could be interesting. Maybe uh, you see a little bit of modern workings in here also. some interesting looking rock here. There's a little glowstone and some bluer stuff. I suspect all these workings are probably interconnected. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat, eh? Oh yeah. Use that to tie off somewhere. Lots of tracks in here. Obviously there isn't many carts that's been used anytime soon because uh, you know, they're all kind of buried in mud here. But you got to dig them out. Oh, that's pretty shiny. It always looks a lot shinier in, in real life than it does when you see it on the video though. And same with the it always looks shinier in a mine than it does outside because lots of times I pick something up and looked at it and I'm like, wow, look at the gold in there, the colors, and then you get outside and you think, what the hell did I pick that up for? Oh, there's something pretty shiny up there because it almost looked like somebody turned a light on back there, but I'm betting, uh, oh, this looks like a, well, it's a blue tarp. It's just reflecting light back. So that's interesting. I wonder why they would have put that there. There's an inclined shaft. Well, that ladder doesn't look real good, but it doesn't look real horrible either. Oh, and there's a, an ore chute, so there's some Stoping up in there. Well, that's interesting. Boy, look at that. Flowstone and the rock rolling down there. Yeah, that's always cool, eh? Let's see the water just rolling down off of there. Bringing the calcium down. So obviously there's a stope up there, because there's an ore chute here. They mined up there. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of uh, workings planned here. There. I don't see nothing up there, but probably the rats are running along that pipe, and you can still smell them. Might have, might have got them kind of uh, scurrying back here. Not a very colorful mine, but oh, there's a rat. Max, Max, there he is, right there. <laughs> Alright, Max, Max, come on, Max! The Rat Express. There must have been quite a bit more water here at one time that kind of flooded that material up. So it's making it a lot easier for us to walk in here the way it is now. I love we've been wading through a fair bit of water. Well, here's a little rack here. Just some kind of a drill. They're pretty small drills though, eh? They look to be in nice shape. Can't be that old. Yeah. Pretty small drills though. I'm not sure if they're just a, for a samples or cores or, I don't know, I guess not. I've never seen drills that small. Looks like we are coming to the end of this mine, so we have no choice if we want to do some exploring, but to go up the ladders. And, uh, see what's up there. Yeah, there's lots of good, min good mining left here yet, eh? We can just get up there and 
throw a ball out out, eh? Yeah. Looks like it continues. It didn't pinch off or nothing. You wonder why they stopped. No, it actually looks like it's widening over here. Yeah. Oh, and it heads off in that direction for a long ways. Yeah. Up in there. Cool. Look at, that, look at that seam, eh? Just straight vertical here. Yeah, pretty. This is pretty close to the to the exit too. So there we are. We're locked into the mine. We're supposed to be locked out, but we're locked in. Yeah. <laughs> this we have the cable behind us, and we have to get out this way. What would we do? The only, the only lock on the whole mine. <laughs> it's really deep. Here, I'll hold this for a second. We'll see. Hope there isn't wings here. Oh, they'll never can swim. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I might have to. <laughs> that looks like it might be pretty deep. Yeah, I, that might be a, the wings. Yeah. Let me throw something in there. Um, well, I got that ladder, I guess. Does that work? See, it looks like there's a bit of a cave in here, so I don't know if that's going to help me that much. I'm going to go, maybe I'm going to grab that ladder. Oh, um, yeah. Right, these are, these are, are sure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab that ladder, throw it across here, yeah. and then make a couple of boards and see what happens. Yeah, that'll work okay. Yeah, give, us a, give me a good idea how hard I get up to swing this. Well, you didn't bring your life jacket. Yeah. That's quite a span to window. Yeah. They're all maybe across there or not spending something. Yeah, she's pretty uh, given way in the middle. Oh, yeah, it seems that way. Yeah. Oh, that help? Well, at least you can hang on to the edge there, though. Yeah. I just want to put the ladder back. So is that option? You want to throw this board on top of it? I'm not sure that's going to help. Let me make well, it feel better. <laughs> yeah, put it on lengthwise and then uh, it spreads the weight out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I pushed it too hard on it. Well, like I say, it's going to be a little swim. Oh, yeah. I can see the bottom here. There's another turtle going to the right. It goes quite a way straight. Huh. Or at least a life jacket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should have something because, you know, you fall down here, you might get hung up or something, eh? Yeah. Well, if they're in here doing a bunch of work, I guess they'll fix it, huh? Yeah. Now you got to come across your rod and ladder. <laughs> we'll think of something. Oh, I can put some of these across this way, maybe. Well, you just have to get to that board. I think you're... Yeah, right now, I guess. Right. I think you're pretty well home free now. Take which? I think you're home free now. Okay. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Yeah. This wall is kind of interesting. I, I think, you know, you look at it the way it's cemented in there. I think they wanted to try to keep this flooded, so... 
maybe they didn't want people in here. I'm not sure it was a big secret if uh, <laughs> they didn't like people looking at the courts or whatever it is. But if you look at it, it definitely looks like they're trying to make a dam in here and keep the water out. But it didn't work because uh, the water is at the same level on this side as it is on the other side. So it seeped underneath there, you know, water pressure's up. It didn't make one damn bit of difference. <laughs> they, uh, they wasted their freaking time and their money building this for sure. So, yeah, it's interesting. He's trying to fight in Mother Nature and he ends up biting you in the ass, eh? Well, there's a dead mouse. Maze of rats didn't eat it. Who knows, the dog might have killed it on the way in. So, uh, looks like there's quite a few levels here and they're all interconnected by shafts or, you know, winds and this one happens to be flooded. Oh, look, there's a rat right there. Max, look at the rat. There's a rat. Look, Max. Hey, there he is. Max, Max. Right here. Max. Boy, oh, you're just blind when it comes to the rats, eh? <laughs> Let's see if that rat can swim. Oh, there's a rat. He's trying to swim out of there, eh? Oh, he's having a tough time. He wants to hop out of the frying pan into the fire, though, see? He can save himself from drowning, but the dog's gonna grab him so. <laughs> Ooh, that's called a dilemma. Ah, well. Let's leave that poor skinny little rat alone. And, uh,. Find some other ones. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> just an awesome place to explore. Look at the, some of the, just the, the quartz in here. It's just unbelievable. Bands of copper. Look at the angle that the faults are at. Huh? Geologically, this is just a stunning mine. A lot of different uh, interesting layers in here. Wow, this is really cool. Well, oh yeah, it's kind of a greasy clay here. You have to do the same thing the dog did, man. There's a lot of rust there. Really warm in this mine for a mine. You know, usually. You want to make sure you always bring a shirt because it's so cold in here. But oh, this one here, oh, it's incredible tunneling stuff in here. Oh, I just love this mine, beautiful. I don't ever think seen so many interesting geological formations in a mine. Awesome, and all these levels. You know, they're just heading off in every direction. So we go down some of these and then we're gonna see some of those ladders, I'm sure. That we look down. Well, that's definitely an ore chute. Don't wanna fall down there. But well, this is just a really exciting mine to explore. Not really dangerous. Yeah, lots of really nice looking quartz in here. And you know, this is where Golden Dawn, I think, is planning on doing a whole bunch of exploration in here. The trick is to keep this blade taut because uh, if I fall, uh, it'll slip down to the last catch. Safe way of sending 
it won't come back, so it looks pretty good. So there we go, our first uh, safe assault.